Hey, what's good, BT gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. We're getting so close to that 1K subscribers, man. Shout out to y'all for all the love and support. Thank y'all so much, man. We're going to hit that goal very, very soon. And when we do, we will be elite. But today, I got a sample here. I think it's from Scent, uh, Scent Split or something. What is this called? Uh, Scentbird. Actually, I got a package from Scentbird. They give you a whole bunch of scents. I guess this is like a subscription-based service. Pretty, pretty cool idea for a lot of people who got a lot of bottles and don't want to waste, you know, the juice. And they just want to try things out to see if they want to get a full bottle. So definitely suggest y'all check out Scentbird. I'm not sponsored by them. Just wanted to try out some scents, and they had a couple of them. But, uh, yeah, today we're looking at Versace Dylan Blue. I know a lot of people are like, Dylan Blue? Like, like you don't, you don't know what Dylan Blue is? I mean, I do. I just never got my nose on it until recently so i've been wearing this a lot lately i've been testing it out i've been checking it out and i'm gonna open up by saying this is probably my favorite blue fragrance i know that's a crazy statement i've been a big fan of ysl ydp uh obviously blue de chanel obviously um i like percival i think that's a blue fragrance and also a dior sauvage that's a blue fragrance as well but when i look at the grand scheme of things and i think about the price the value you can get like a a huge bottle of this for like a hundred bucks. Like I'm talking like six ounce bottles, like huge bottles for like 70, 80 bucks. And that's for this, that's really, really good value. But let's go ahead. Let's hit the notes up first. At the top, we got the cardamom, bergamot, uh, bergamot, excuse me, water notes, grapefruit, fig leaf. In the mid, we got some ambroxan, some black pepper, some patchouli, violet leaf, papyrus. And then in the base, we got some incense, musk, tonka bean, as well as the saffron. So when you got things like this combined with like fresh, like delicate notes, you get scared to think that this may be like a cloying, overpowering, like heavy fragrance. This is still like at the end of the day, a blue jelly, fresh like fragrance. I do believe that it has a little bit more body than that, than the typical blue, but I still think you can get it done in the summertime. This is like an everyday signature scent type of smell. It smells fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my sample for y'all. So I'm probably gonna get a full bottle. So yeah, you get a fresh shower jelly, clean, bubbly type feel. You get a little bit of, it's a lot of, I mean, I'll say quite a bit of pe black pepper in that. It's a little bit of spice, but it's not too much. It reminds me of, a. Uh, if I had to pick a blue fragrance, I would say like uh, Eric Crombie and Fitch Fierce, just a little bit. And then like, it just has that, I guess maybe that's not Broxen, but it just has that clean, spicy feel that uh that Percival has. Our Eric er er Crombie and Fitch Fierce, they smell kind of similar. But it's like spicy, it's aquatic, got the saltiness, got the clean shower gel. Like, this is not going to offend anybody. I'm going to tell y'all this. It will not offend anybody. It smells great. It's not anything groundbreaking, but that's kind of what you're getting. If you're looking for a blue fragrance, you're not looking into wild people. You may wild some people because, you know, everybody's different. Everybody likes different fragrances. But for the nine times out of ten, you're not going to wow anybody with blue fragrances. But this is like a safe buy. It's cheap. I would say this is probably, in my opinion, as far as buying a first cologne, I would say Club Denny Wheat Intense Man is first, and then this might be second. Even over like an Eros, because Eros is not as versatile as this is. I would say Eros is more like for the nightlife, cool weather, that's cool. You want to get attention that way, that's cool. But as far as like an everyday driver, I don't think it can get much better than this, man. Now, performance on this, I got like six to seven hours, eight, like one time, but I, I think I sprayed a little bit more than usual. But six to seven hours, which is not bad. That's pretty much a whole work day. Uh, I got moderate projection. It's not going to be a room filler. But like I said, people are going to smell you within their bubble. And this stuff smells good. And I didn't get any uh, compliments personally, but I didn't wear it that often. Like out in the public. I wore it a couple of times out in public. But this is mostly me testing it around the house. And it has the projection. It has the performance. And it has the, the blue everyday, uh, very likable, mass appealing scent to the point where I think it will be a huge compliment beast. If you do care about that. If you don't and you just want to smell good, even better. But as far as compliments goes, I do think this will be a good compliment uh, getter. But I didn't receive any. Um, yeah, I mean, is Versace Dylan Blue still worth it in 2024? My answer to that question is yes. Yes. For a person who has a large collection, I would say maybe straight away. Because this, like I said, this is not groundbreaking. This is a blue fragrance. This is, you know, it has a little bit of incense and smoke and pepper to it. But it's nothing of a high tier niche quality. Nothing like that. 
But if you're getting started, you just got a few bottles. You're trying to try out some new scents. You want to decant something for cheap. Uh, wear something every day and not break the bank and save your niche or your high-end designers for the weekend. This is perfect, especially especially for the office, you know, anything. This is really, really good stuff. Kind of gives me an aqua, aqua de Joe type feel too, man, from uh, by Armani. I don't know which one particularly. Maybe uh, more of the uh, prof Profumo because it has that smoky incense in it. And it's kind of not green-like, but it's kind of herbal-like with that papyrus. But um, really, really good stuff. Massive penalty stuff. Can't go wrong. If I had the chance to wear Versace Dillon Blue in 2024, I would definitely wear it. I would definitely not shy away from it. A lot of people don't talk about it, man. I think Eros is like the big like flagship fragrance for Versace, but Dillon Blue, I feel like, deserves a lot more hype. Even I think Versace Poor Home gets more love than um than uh Dillon Blue does. So to each his own though, but to me personally, this is the best smelling one to me, especially for everyday type of scent and you're looking to just get around without breaking the bank. This is a perfect, perfect option for y'all, man. So yeah, don't tap, don't be scared to tap into Versace Dylan Blue. Me personally, I'll get this eight, eight out of ten, seven point five out of ten. Really, really good stuff, man. Don't shy away from Versace Dylan Blue. And yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed y'all day. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I love y'all so much, bro. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.